Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to get admin in your game in Roblox Studio. So let's get into this tutorial. Hey guys, as you saw in the beginning of this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to get admin in any of your games or places in Roblox Studio 2017 or any other version. And basically what will this will do will give you or anyone else you select a bunch of commands they can use in their game, in your game, and whatever you want. So basically what you want to do first is you want to go to the toolbox, which is, if you don't have it, you want to go to view and go to toolbox right here and click it. And if you don't have explorer or properties either, you might want to get those two. But anyway, once you got those, you want to go to Models, which is right here. Then you want to type in Admin. And then you're going to go down the Most Taken, which I already have. And then you're going to put Cole's Admin in. Basically, you can open that up. Delete the thumbnail camera because you don't need that. And then you can open up Credit and go into Settings. So basically, right now, only you as the owner will have the admin commands. But once we're finished with this, I will show you how to add other people and make changes to it. So first, we're going to go down to the basic settings. And this basically does a few stuff, and I'll tell you what they do. So admin credit will tell you that it's made by Cole's admin. And you basically want to keep this on because you don't want people thinking you made it when really you just used it from someone else. And then auto clean will basically just clean everything that the admin has affected in your game. And the amount of time you set down here. Command bar, it shows you all the commands. Fun commands, just basically keep this true if you want all the fun commands. Free admin. You can set that to true if you want anyone who joins your game to have it, but keep it on false if you won't only want you and the selected people to have it. In public logs, you just want to keep that on false. So now we're going to go up here and show you how to ban people or get people to be owners, super admins, admins, mods, and VIPs. So basically, to ban people, all you have to do is go here to local man. Double click this and delete this, but not these. And then you're going to do their username. So, Olaf the Snowman 336 would be someone I dislike, which is my friend's account. He's annoying, but anyway, let's say I wanted to ban him from the game. Then you can do that, and then they cannot get in your game. They'll just get banned from it. But now, that's basically how you do that. Now I'm just going to show you how to get owners, super admins, admin, mods, and VIPs. So first I'm going to go over what these ranks do. So VIMP only has a few commands that don't really affect anything much. Mods, they can kick, mute, and use most of the commands. Admins, they can ban, crash, and set people as mods and VIPs. And they have at least half of the commands. Super admins pretty much have almost every command but a few and owners have every command there are. So now I'm going to show you how to add people. What you want to do is click in here on the one you want then you're going to do this symbol and then their username. So mine is firewolf and then this and then gaming and that's how you would add that person but if you wanted to add multiple people, you do a comma and then do another person. So I'll do my old account. Olaf, Olaf, the snowman, one zero one eight, and that is my old account. So now my account and my old account have owners and basically you can do that for any of these ranks. And now we're basically done here. You can basically just go to File, Publish to Roblox as, and save it however you like. And then you can go to the game and play it. You can't really do it on Studio, but I will be back when I get to my game. Okay guys, I am 
back and I'm joining the game right now and then I'm going to be showing you a few things that you should know about these admin commands. So let's just get into the game and then we will get started. So right now it's loading and it should be done. Okay, here. So now it will tell you what rank you have, or if you don't have any rank at all, it will just say that this game uses cold admin commands, but if you set it, the credit thing to false, then it won't say that at all. It also won't show this on the bottom, which will have this. But anyway, there's some things you need to know. So now I'm going to show you how to do the commands. So basically to do commands, you go into the chat, do this symbol, and then you can do commands like this, or you can do the actual word commands. And basically this will show you all the commands you can do, and you basically will use that symbol whenever you want to do a command. Like if I wanted to do the fly command, I could do that and then fly then I could fly. But basically, that's how you do all the commands and how you see all the commands. And also, if you wanted to hide it from everyone so they can't see the command you're doing, like if you wanted to explode the whole game without anyone knowing you did it, you can do slash E and then the command. So I'll do the nuke command. And now if there were people on my game, they wouldn't know I was the one who blew up everything. And as you can see, I basically just destroyed the whole map, and yeah, this is not good. Um, <laughs> yeah, but that's basically how admin commands work. And if this video helped you, please leave a thumbs up, that would really help. And subscribe for more Roblox videos. And also in the comments down below, you can ask me questions, and I will be choosing some of them for my Q&A video, and that would be really cool. And if yours gets picked, then you might be one of the people featured in my video in your comment as well. So, until next time, bye!